when you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Welcome back to Let's Play Game of Thrones, everybody. Thank you, Cersei, for that wonderful intro. It was nice. The famous line, man. When you say the name of the book in the line in the book of di you know in the dialogue in the book you know you've made it anyways that's an actual line from the book slash movie movie slash show whatever let's stop talking about that last time well do i even need to talk about last time the only thing that matters from last time i, I kind of remember everything that happened but the main thing is what happened at the very end motherfucking ramsey snow showed up again that motherfucking bastard he showed up at the end of last episode smug bastard he it looks like he emptied out iron wrath that's not good that's probably not good anyways episode five is upon us guys we're getting close which means big shit's probably gonna go down today are you guys ready are you ready is your body ready for some true game of thrones shit to go down because i don't think i'm freaking ready right now i'm 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 scared i'm scared right now guys i'm super scared and only if the game loaded faster, the anticipation wouldn't be so scary. Come on. Come on, Telltale. Come, 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 come. Previously on Game of Thrones. That's not Tyrion's voice. Uh, uh, that was some straight fucking Daenerys. You'd help the second Oh, sons. that's because Daenerys is Guide right there. them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This you can and you will. Chance. You Get can the city. Will. help them liberate Marine. Okay, so that was what Asha was doing. We pretty much ended with them succeeding at their little part of the plan. You think you got a reason for the wildling? Oh yeah, and then there was this shit. No, I'm uh, I'm a friend. I'm a friend. And then I failed hard at that. Still wonder if I could have avoided that confrontation, but probably not. Seems to me this guy was gonna get hurt no matter what. Don't move. And then there's this girl who showed up at the end, who's gonna lead us to the place with the things. All right. This is my sister, Sylvie. Sylvie. Okay. And then. Oh yeah, Mira over in I King's have to Landing. Get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family, and someone in there is helping him. Yeah. Andros is hiring cells. This fucking guy. Hundreds of the liar years. man. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Well, that's not good. I'm not sure what we're gonna oh, do about yeah, that. I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. I just wonder what happened to everybody else in Ironrath. I think that's gonna be the big thing. Like what happened to Duncan and all the all the guys from the other house that were helping us out, the archer guys. I wonder what's going on. Yeah. Roderick! Go. Roderick! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Oh boy, here we go. And let the good times roll, my friends. Let the good times roll. Right where we left off. Good times. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? A flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. She seems like ah, the type of hold this a guy. Grudge. You killed our brother. I've killed many brothers. Sisters, too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Yeah, fuck this guy. Pretty much no matter what, Ramsey's oh. gonna do what Ramsey does. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> Here, I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ramsey. There. Doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. The hell? You mean you don't trust your men is what you mean. Ugh, 
God damn it, Ramsey. You smug bastard. Smug bastard. How so fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> God damn it, Ramsey. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes, Ludson. Griff and his men are under guard. They have no place here. They do if I say they do. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glen. I'm not sure how you managed that. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Father! Roderick! You disobeyed God me. fucking damn. You disrespected me. Please, stop. Someone has to pay. You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. No one has to pay. Let's just keep talking. I'm bored of talking. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please stop! <laughs> please, please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Children, make him stop! Please, do something! Talia, don't look. Please. Look at him, Talia. <laughs> See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsey. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. Please stop, Lord Ramsey. <laughs> no. What a douche. But you knew this was going to happen. All lads, right? Fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> You want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Just drop Come it. We on, all know Ramsey ain't gonna die right here. We've seen the show. We know he doesn't die right here. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a holdfast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing. Oh, now you fucking give us that. Otherwise, I'll kill you both and be done with it. You're insane. At least I'm not you. And one more thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Can't disgusting. leave a job half finished. <laughs> <sighs> Ready the horses. 
Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. <laughs> Well then. Okay, well that's bad. I'm not sure what we're gonna do now, unless we can somehow fucking convince What's-His-Face to not fucking come and murder everybody in our place. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, welcome everyone <laughs> to episode 5 of Game of Thrones. Telltale series. King's Landing. We haven't been there before. Oh, there's a surprise. Wait, we're not even going to go to the wall, though, are we? We're going to go north of the wall. Why would you lie to me, game? We're not going to the wall. We're going north of the wall. We're already north of the wall. Don't lie to me. Liar. And then we got Iron Wrath, of course. My favorite place. It's so cool. I guess. And, of course, the last but not the least of the east is over in the marine. Dealing with the Dragon Queen of Marine. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, oh yeah. It's kind of for a new area, but you know, we may not even get there in this in this fucking uh, season of Game of Thrones. Yes, they're gonna do more seasons, but we won't talk about that right now. Well, let's just enjoy what's to come. Episode five, a nest of vipers. Oh yeah. That's what they call King's Landing, right? Nest of Vipers? It certainly feels that way when there's all those freaking people trying to kill each other for the fucking throne. Anyway, Arthur's dead. Whoops, my bad. I think that would have happened no matter what, but whoops, my bad. Thing is, if I would have took him with me, what would have been the difference? Would they even have went with me? I don't even know. It's very interesting to think about. If I had taken the guards with me, what would have happened? What would what, what, what would have been different? Would this guy would still would have died, or would it have been somebody else? Interesting to note. Anyway, it looks like we get to look around a little bit here. So let's look at the rack. Look at the rack. Feast your eyes upon rack. Come on. Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. Eh, someday they might. It may even take another bastard to pull the trigger. Who knows? But someday. Someday. Arthur. So sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, dude. Why, after all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. Can't believe it's fucking come to this. The Glenmore Guard are gone, ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be yours, Royal. You'll get no argument from me. But how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. And they still have Ryan. Lord makes a show of being strong, but he's no better off than us. Not if the Boltons refuse Where to... Where is he? Where is my brother? Oh, shit. I was hoping she wasn't going to show up. This is bad. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... <gasps> No. No. Oh, no. No. Arthur, no. Arthur. God damn it. It's my fault. I brought him into this. All right, now we got to console her. I asked him to help. You can't blame yourself, Lena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. <laughs> he was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. <laughs> and now to die, like this, tortured. 
mutilated. I wish there was something I could say to make this easier. Is that meant to console me? Ramsey came here because of you. Oh God, here we if go. We hadn't been your allies. Oh God, here we go. Blame game time. Elena. I'm sorry. Someplace warm. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. I don't think it matters what kind of answer I gave there. All those answers sucked. I didn't like any of them. I wish things had worked out differently between us. Oh, God. You say that every time. I feel... I'm so alone. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. I mean, we're still friends, no matter what, right? Someday, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, back to King's Landing with us. Mira, what are you doing? Ah, there you are. Uh, I haven't yeah. seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Don't worry about it, big mouth. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros, in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. Bitch, please. I know it. Don't fucking play me. Marjorie play with me. It. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you oh, anymore. Oh, there goes my only friend. What? I thought we were friends, Mira, bitch. I even vouched for girl. you. I knew at High Garden. Motherfucker. She'd never be so reckless. Oh, uh, you know what? And now I'm gonna go Garden tell that dude that you're fucking marriage. the flowers. And you know what? You'll never Just marry that guy. I can't risk being associated with you. Bitch, please. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. Sarah, you can't mean this. I have too few friends in King's Landing as it is. I'm sorry. I really am. But I just can't anymore. Now I should now I feel like I should have lied to Is the dude. Worth like, it, yo, she's a flower, yo. Sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. To go before she sees me. She'll be a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. But why? Uh, why would I? Don't make this difficult. Yeah, it's gonna be Cersei. No, no Lannister guards would come looking for her if it wasn't for Cersei. Most hundred percent, definitely Cersei. One hundred percent, sir. Say, uh huh. That's right, sir. Say, one hundred percent, sir. Say. Oh, but first, back to the east to speak with the queen. Come on, best of uh, Listen, the how queen? can you the mother still be dragons. angry? Sorry, is that a joke? I had Desozaraza in my hand, and you made me let him go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know why? <sighs> yeah, you were afraid of disobeying the pretty little queen. You chose your prize over my one chance of revenge. And for what? There's no way this dragon queen comes through. Enough! Your revenge would have cost me everything. It'd be worth it to see him dead. Oh, and you'd explain that to my family's corpses. <sighs> we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. 
that you denied me that. I... Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Stop sure. talking about it yourself, you brought it up. Dumb hoe. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Maybe they're best friends. She likes hearing about Westeros from Westerosi people, doesn't she? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Hell yeah, I did. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. Nothing out of the ordinary, Your Grace. We fulfilled your orders. To the letter, if reports are true. Hell yeah. I hear you know how to follow orders. Despite your friend's efforts to make you stray. You told me Asher was a man of integrity, Malcolm. Now I know you were telling the truth. Hell yeah. I follow orders, you baby. You proved yourself an honorable warrior. You have my gratitude. Sick. But you can't have my warriors. Don't do this to me. Ah! Oh, I cannot spare my God, I son. knew she was going to do that to us. What? Your Grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. This is why you denied me my revenge? What did I tell you? You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty handed. Okay. In truth, we are not so different. We're both far from home. We've both suffered the loss of those we've loved. And we both struggle to do what's right. So you're going to give me a dragon? And we're both attractive. Nice. You said something about not leaving empty-handed? Don't make me change my mind. I should have flattered her. I should have done it. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. One cell sword? Oh, gold to buy cell swords? This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Apologies, Your Grace. But we need fighters now, not gold. Gold can buy many things. A sellsword like you should understand that. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forward. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. So she gives us gold and takes one of our only You'd dudes. You seriously awesome. consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. But if she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You'd abandon us with the White Hills at our doors. We need every sword. What's a sword to a dragon? Just think what this alliance might mean for your house. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. The little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the queen. Don't get yourselves killed. 
Okay, so we're leaving Uncle behind, and we're gonna go get some killers. So, I... where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. Sounds about right. Some slaves that live like masters. Okay, so now what? Back to the north, all right. Still chilling over here, huh? Why are we still chilling here? We need to be going to the the grove. The grove, man. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. Quit your bitching, Cotter. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Ah, right, Sylvie. We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look. That was always the plan, Cotter. I can't go south. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why'd he get hurt in the first place? Ooh, what does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Who you calling Fishface, bitch? Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and- well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Bitch, please. Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildlings. Fens, probably. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. Finn, will you co Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. Bitch, please. You just mad because they're wildlings. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I'm not hungry. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Why'd you even bring me here, Cotter? You said you'd take me to the North Grove. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. But she's refusing to help. You heard her. Her mind's made up. She can be stubborn when she wants. But if she's going south... And so am I. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. Man, why the fuck did I bring you along again? Fucking asshole. Not only did you get injured, but your ass ain't even gonna help me. So fuck your Garrett. ass. So you really won't take me north? I wanna help you, Garrett. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, 
I'd be as lost as you. Useless. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. <laughs> Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister. I wanted to. I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. Of all people, you'd be, think he'd be the one that understood the you most. You and your sister, you, uh... But you don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. <laughs> My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? <laughs> Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. Where's your mother now? Hard to say, for sure. conversation, I didn't expect. Probably dead. Our village decided Sylvie wasn't welcome there, and our mother... <laughs> she didn't want to leave. So I guess that means you took Why were they afraid of, of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are assholes. Yep. Your whole village just kicked you out. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't going to make it. <laughs> I like how you just turned around like, okay, had enough of your conversation. Peace out, Kata. Kata. All right. Let's go talk to dude over here who's probably still pissed. Yo, Finn. Sub dog. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I know you asked I wanted to, go, to come. dude. Just didn't know this is how it turned out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Okay, well that was easy. I thought he was going to be more stubborn than that. But alright, let's... Oh wait, should we look in here? <gasps> Sylvie's hut. Let's explore. Hmm. Didn't I already look around this shit last episode? <gasps> She's got a drink. I'm going I'm to look oh, at it. This is that stuff Cotter was drinking. What is it, though? Can we taste it? Oh, well, it's not so bad. It's probably good for you, maybe. Deadly spear. I already looked at that. I wonder I if her mother gave her that. Now that we know the context of some of the stuff in here, we can actually, like, look at it and, like, see what it is. Little moon. Little moon, indeed. Alright, I guess that was all there was to look at in there since it stopped trying to let me look at things. That's fine. I didn't want to look at that anymore anyway. <sighs> Alright, let's talk to... Wait, where'd he go? Did he not go by the fire? I'll be fine, Garrett. You don't have to keep looking at me like that. Okay. It's fine. I was looking for something else to do is what I was trying to do, bruh. Um, Okay. Um, anything else to interact with that I'm not seeing? Um, oh, okay, there you go. Oon Rabbit. She gonna get it. She gonna get that rabbit. Whoa. Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. 
A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? They can try to kill me if they want. I won't let them. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Don't frighten our dinner away. You got Shit. this, girl. Here. I was never any good with a bow. Know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I never miss. Do I actually have to aim? Oh, dinner. Hold R2. Damn it. I was too slow. I never miss. <laughs> right. Who cares if I... I didn't miss. I just didn't shoot yet. Do I get another try? I get another try, right? Here we go. Fuck! Ah, oh, you're joking. Maybe next time, Garrett. Well, since we don't have any Son food... Son of a... I didn't mean to do that. I... Oh. What's this? I was dumb. Your dinner... It won't fill you up, but... It'll God make damn you it. Not hungry for God a fucking damn it. I didn't even give myself a chance, man. Me. Fuck. Now I just look like a fucking klutz. You God damn lost it. Anyone, Garrett. Someone you really cared about. Oh, you don't even know, Someone girl. You thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. My you whole family, dude. Like. I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Do you know where it is then? I know where they say it is. But you'd be mad to try and go there. Why is that? A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope, and none of them ever returned. Ah, uh, maybe they stayed maybe there. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were. Help! Cotta! Uh oh, bunch of spear wives. Yep. Fuck! Look out! Oh shit! White walkers. Oh god! Here we go. Or oh, not white walkers. Sorry, whites. <laughs> 